two years have passed since the United Workers' Party, UWP, faced a significant defeat at the 2021 polls, paving the way for the SLP regime to gain control of government. We are humbled by that historic vote, and in that tremendous mandate, we have found the strength to honor our campaign, to, to put you, the people, first. On the anniversary of their triumph, the ruling St. Lucia Labour Party is reflecting on its accomplishments thus far. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre credits prudent economic policies for what he says has been the resuscitation of the economy from the abyss of financial mismanagement. Restored financial stability, nurtured economic growth, brought un unemployment down, to its lowest level in 10 years, has secured over 240 million new investments in the tourism sector. We will continue our strategy of building back St. Lucia's economic health. He says that these policies have played a pivotal role in setting the economy on a path of stability and growth. Our government, therefore, has, in the last two years, provided massive subsidies to our people for basic food items, petrol and cooking gas. We have lowered the price of other goods for the lifting of government service charges on them. And if the removal of VAT on building materials, medicals, medical equipment and sanitary items for babies, women and senior citizens. We have waived tax penalties and interest of more than 500 million on taxes owed to the government and provided the largest increase 25.9 million to the poor and vulnerable by expanding our social safety net programs. According to St. Lucia's Prime Minister, the casting of an expanding social protection net over the most vulnerable has been a top priority of the government, focused on fulfilling its mantra of putting people first. Financial support has been given to pensioners. We have paid civil servants their back pay. And along with an increase in the supplies to teachers, we have assisted parents with their children's education by paying their facility fees, CXC mathematics and English fees, while also providing thousands of children with laptops to every secondary school student. As we continue to modernize our education system, we are on course with our first generation scholarships by leveraging our diplomatic and other relationships and partnering with locally based universities. The Prime Minister says strides have also been made in the healthcare sector, with the maternal health and elderly care assuring the phased approach to the universal health coverage. The attention paid to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force was also highlighted as one of the accomplishments. The restoration of the police trading vote and the procurement of over 40 vehicles, surveillance equipment and protective gear have provided a once neglected Royal St. Lucia Police Force with the basic tools to assist with securing our citizens. The government has also begun the construction of a $45 million Northern Divisional Police Headquarters, the renovation of the Southern Divisional Police Headquarters and the reconstruction of the custody suites, which was recklessly demolished by the previous governments. <clears throat> the achievements and accomplishments of this government are numerous. Suffice it to say that in the last two years, we have pursued policies in all sectors of government that, that have put our people first. Prime Minister Pierre says despite the naysayers and detractors attempts to dismiss and diminish the gains of the SLP, the administration will not be deterred and will remain steadfast in making strides for the betterment of the nation.